Yo guys, what's up? How's it going? Alright, so today we're doing a special request video. We're moving some crow from my DeFi wallet back into the Crypto.com app uh, so we can sell it back and put it in the bank. So it's kind of hard to explain. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Alright, so we can go here, right into the crow. You can see I have 38 crow. So what I want to do is I want to go send. And it's going to say recipient address. So this is where you would paste the address in from your crypto.com app. Now since my wallet is already linked to the crypto.com app, it's right down here. Right here, bam. Look at that. Fills it in for you. Easy. All right. You go next. So how much crow do you want to send? Well, I'm going to send 10 crow just as a test. So a dollar. So I'm going to send 10 crow. No problem. All right. So it's going to take six seconds, which is pretty awesome for execution time. It's going to cost 0 0.00002 crow. And since crow is now at 15 cents, 16 cents, whatever it is. I'm going to be losing some money on this one. Not a lot. I think I can handle it. Alright. And you want to confirm it. And it says request submitted. So it's pending. Alright. View the details. Okay, there it is. You can view the status on Explorer. Oh yeah, okay. I like cookies. Alright. And you can here you can see where where it's coming from, where it's going to, block hash, whatever. All right, so cool. So now, if we go back to the crypto.com app, and here we are through the magic of video editing. All right, there we go. Now we should come into here into the crow and. I don't know if I have that in my account yet. But it should show up here when you're done. Okay, so right here you can go up here to transfer. You can deposit more crow or you can withdraw. Now you should link it up to your wallet. You should see my other video on how to link up to your wallet. That's useful hopefully. Um, you can send it to other users. So feel free to send me all, all your crow if you want. No problem. I have plenty of room in my wallet. <laughs> All right, you can, and here you can add a wallet address to withdraw to. Okay, so whatever app you're going to send it to, this is where you put it. All right, and if you're going to, if you're not connecting the wallet, this is where you would put the, the wallet address to send it to. All right, so it's not too hard, not too bad. All right. Now, in order to send it to your bank account, you have to go sell. So you want to sell cryptocurrency. And what you need to do is transfer it into your fiat wallet. So say I wanted to sell that 10 crow into my fiat wallet, which I don't want to do. But I would say sell 10 crow. I would confirm. And it would go back into the wallet. Okay. Now. Once it's in the wallet, and you want to put it back in your bank account, you have to go to a different area. You want to go to the fiat wallet. Okay, now you're going to have the money from the crow in your fiat wallet. Alright, you can see last night over the flash crash, I did some crypto buying. Shh, don't tell anybody. I think the market has pretty much bottomed now. And uh, I was just uh, going in hard. So, you can see I just uh, almost cleaned up my entire fiat money account. I didn't completely empty it. And I transferred actually some more, but it's going to take a couple days to get here. So, that's too bad. So, you hit transfer. You hit withdraw. You want to hit whatever your currency is you're set up in. USD, pounds, whatever, 
And then right here, you want to add a bank account. Now, see, I haven't withdrawn any money from Crypto.com. I've moved crypto around. I've moved it to Fiat Wallet, moved it to another crypto. I've moved it to other places. But I haven't actually withdrawn any money. So I would have to go here and add a bank account. And they're using Plaid. So to link up with Plaid, I did this in another video you can go see. I really don't want to go through that here right now, but I guess I should. Just to uh, complete the loop, right? So to say. So I think I'll we'll use... Um, hmm, which one should I use? I've been using different ones for crypto. Uh, let's hook it up with... Uh, let's go with Wells Fargo, I guess. I'm not going to show you guys all my info. <clears throat> so what they're doing is communicating with the bank. And now they want to send me a text message to make sure it's me. It's not a, not a scam or a fraud or whatever. <clears throat> So, this is good. It's a two-factor authentication, they call it, I guess. I have that set up for most of my account, most all my accounts now. So, that's good. Even if I didn't have it set up, I think Plaid does it automatically. Um, just to make sure everything's cool. So, it takes, takes a few minutes for Plaid to get their act together and communicate with the servers and... All that kind of stuff. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So then you select a bank account. Alright. And then it will link up with that bank account. And usually there's a limit of like three bank accounts you can link up with. Alright. And then bam. There it is. And, and you can go. You can select it. And you can say okay. You can send. You can send money right. Whatever amount you want. You want to send one dollar. Oh, minimum limit's a hundred dollars. Oh, never mind. Can't send one dollar anymore. Not in this app. I've never tried it, so minimum's a hundred. So you have to send at least a hundred dollars worth to your bank. But I've been transferring stuff in, and it's a little different. But now, if you want to transfer stuff out, that's how you do it. All right, guys. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to make a video about it, if I can't explain it. Alright? Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you, oh, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching.